everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is another summer diaries video so i am currently getting ready because i'm gonna go meet my friend i actually don't know where we're going we were considering going to cabana which is like an outside pool bar but it is a little chilly out today which is so funny i was telling my friend this i was like the fact that we're complaining about like 20 to 24 degrees when realistically not that long ago it was like minus 15 but you know how we do as humans always complaining about something anyways you guys will see what we end up getting up to i just did my makeup and i'm obviously i'm actually about to do my natural hair right now also the way that i do my natural hair is actually quite easy i always just separate my hair two ways and then i do about five sections of what you're gonna see me do here now and it's actually fairly simple now i have low porosity hair so i need my hair to be really wet in order for me to even put any product in it or it will not sink into my hair so what i usually do if i'm not like out here doing my hair is i'll just put my products in in the shower because that is just the best way that my hair will basically eat it up but if you have low porosity hair, it's really good to obviously just get something like this and make sure that your hair is really wet before you put in the leave-in conditioner. So the first thing I do is I put in a little bit of leave-in conditioner. Right now I'm using Love Your Curls leave-in conditioner and I rake this through and I'll brush it through and then I put the mousse over top and then I go on to the next section. It's actually quite easy. If you want these products, I'll link them down below because honestly they work very very well for my hair i also would say i have like 4b slash c kind of curls but guys i am actually so excited for this video because i, I was can't even believe that i'm even saying this but i'm actually going on my first brand trip which is wild to me so obviously as a content creator you work with a lot of brands if you want obviously but that's obviously a part of the job i'm doing this because i put a little bit too much of the leave-in conditioner in by the way i keep forgetting that you do not need a lot of this leave-in conditioner which is really good actually because when you have curly hair you go through so much anyways i work with a lot of different brands uh a brand that i've worked with on instagram a lot is hey you which is one of my favorite streaming platforms for reality tv shows so where i watch all of my real housewives summer house vanderpump rules the valley below deck like everything so i've actually worked with them a few times doing different things and i've also gone to a lot of their events so i feel like i have a pretty good working relationship with this brand so of course there's a new season of below deck and if you haven't watched below deck please go watch it it's actually such a good show and maybe i'll just talk about it more like when we actually go on the trip but um they're promoting a new season and they're sending us and when i mean us there's going to be a different influencers there i have no idea who's going to be there i'm sure i'll know somebody because i know quite a few content creators in the city but they're sending us to muskoka for two days basically to get like an experience that um below deck trainees basically do i i don't really know there's an itinerary and everything like that so we'll obviously go into more detail um, and like I said, I will show you guys, but it's gonna be Muskoka, which is literally a manifestation guys And let me quickly explain I feel like sometimes when we are wanting to manifest things and usually what we want to manifest as people is Money and love and for me I have learned that there's different ways in which I can get my manifestation You know whether it's a monetary thing or whether it's somebody sending me it's something I, I need specifically like a product or something or an experience like there's so many ways that you can kind of go about getting what you want in your life or how you're gonna get it that's why i really practice a lot of detachment when it comes to the things that i want and really just trust that i am gonna get exactly what it is that i desire without trying to mess with the middle mess with the oh my god it has to be this way because then when you look outside in your reality maybe it's not happening that way you're like oh my god it's not happening and then those thoughts create more of lack and more of you not getting what you want type of thing so anyways i have been saying i want to go to muskoka this summer either with friends or something like a cottage weekend and this that but i will say it's expensive and it's also just hard to even get all of your friends together to go do something like that and i am somebody who has a lot of different friend groups so obviously i've still been wanting to go but i just didn't really know when like i didn't really like have the plan but i just knew like I'm gonna go to Muskoka this summer and I have been saying that I want to work with hey you again because I really do Like them like this is a literal brand that I live by meaning I'm always watching my shows on there and of course 
when they reach out to work together, they're like, hey, we're gonna send you on a trip to where? Muskoka. And you are gonna have a whole experience there. And on top of that, I am going for work as well. So I just think that like, sometimes all you really need to do is put your desire out there and just trust that it's gonna come back to you exactly the way that it needs to. And this honestly just means falling back into your feminine energy, I think, Sometimes when we see that the universe is not bringing us what we want or we're desiring something we have been taught That's basically how the majority of the world is working is very much so like do-it-yourself energy like go out and get that thing Which it doesn't mean you never take action on certain things But I think that sometimes especially when we don't see things happening right away We're like fine I'll just do it and then you go and try and make it happen and this is not to mean that that won't work obviously uh, people get very successful uh, moving and residing in masculine energy, but I've learned over the years the benefit of manifesting out of pure desire and pleasure and trusting and moving through life in ways that I don't feel like I have to exert myself and stress myself out and it works. So maybe this is just your reminder to let go of the how and the when of your manifestation if you are really wanting something in your life and trust that it is on the way even if you can't really see it yet. But I'm gonna finish doing my hair because I already know I'm gonna talk forever. As you guys saw, I just raked in the mousse and then we will see what we get up to. reason I feel like my hair is sitting weird you know those days where your hair is just not doing what it wanted to do that's kind of today but then I'm also like don't hyper focus on it and it won't be a problem you know so I'm about to head out to this place called Toronto Beach Club it is way too cool to be going to Cabana it's not even a nice day to go out but we're gonna go to this place I guess just probably get food and see where the day takes us I am wearing this shirt this is from pretty little thing I got it like two seasons ago and I wear it all the time I feel like this goes with a beach club theme vibe. Not like I need to really match it. And then I'm just wearing my cargo jeans with I'll wear a pair of heels. And I do need to bring my black blazer because I am gonna be freezing. I have been talking about the fact that I don't wanna drink and I really haven't been. And I always say this, I literally say this all the time. I really am not that much of a drinker. So I don't actually know why I talk about oh i don't want to drink as if i do it all the time like it is actually quite rare on a month to month basis that i even have the chance to even do so but i think i just say that so much when i am going out because i am so sensitive to alcohol usually but i am dying to have a glass of rosé i don't know if i don't know what it is so i might do that um, I'm also not drinking tonight. Like I'm not going out and ruining my sleep. So maybe that's why I feel more inclined to like have it cause it's midday. Well, it's like five, but I feel like I kind of want one. Anyways, we'll see. So if you see me with a glass of wine, just, just know that I am fully a full body yes to this glass of wine. But when I have been going out and I just know that I'm not feeling it, I will not. Like the other day we went to King Taps to get some food. Well, I went with one of my friends and it just was not needed. So we'll see what we get up to. I don't even know what type of food that they have. So hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's good vibes. Anyways, I will see you when we get there. Good morning, everyone. 
everyone. It is Sunday morning. I just obviously got out of the shower. I washed my face. You guys know if you guys have been watching. Soy Face Cleanser by Fresh Beauty. But right now what I'm using for my skin is actually it's not all Innisfree but three products or actually two main products and then I use the clay mask. But anyways, the Hyaluronic Acid by Innisfree. I just... I don't know. I love it. It works perfectly on my skin. It's not too thin and not too thick and I'm pretty sure it's unscented. It doesn't smell like anything, which I feel like my skin really loves products where there's no like perfumes, there's no nothing like that in it and um, it just works really well. And it also hydrates my skin very well. So if you guys were ever interested in Innisfree and you wanted to know if it was good or not, I absolutely approve. So last night, my friend and I, we went to the Toronto Beach Club. It was so nice there. I did not expect it to be what it was. I didn't get that many clips, but that place is the perfect vibe for me. I wish it was nicer out because we could have sat on the patio. Even though it was covered, it was still kind of chilly, but that restaurant gives like Tulum vibes. They play really good house music that I love even as you're eating. And then at night they have a DJ and they like have more music and it's louder obviously. And you know, the place is bumping. I really want to go back there. I feel like a perfect day would be to go to Cabana Pool Bar during the day when it's nice out, maybe come home, change, and then go to the beach club. I feel like that would be a vibe, but it is on the east side of Toronto. So I feel like that's probably why I haven't heard of it because the a lot of people when they go out they go King Street they go Ossington they go not really the east side there's not much on that side but I live fairly close like essentially I live on the east of downtown Toronto not like the east on the map like out in the beaches but I do live fairly close and this is why I love this area because there's not a lot of like hustle and bustle around here obviously it's still busy but it definitely gives me kind of like suburban vibes even though there's literally no homes but everything is very new there's a lot of paths to walk near the water there's obviously not a lot of traffic when i mean traffic i mean like people traffic like walking and stuff oh although it kind of gets deeper into that but on an average day especially when it's not like rush hour and stuff there's not that many people because there's not a lot of shops there's not a lot of restaurants but the restaurants that we do have are like very beautiful the ones like right on the water and stuff which is so my vibe like that is my vibe so with that said i feel like last night was just i don't know it was perfect next i'm going in with their serum so this is their green tea enzyme vitamin c brightening serum i love the consistency of this it's like a gel ish type of serum maybe i can show you guys this is kind of like what it looks like i love it so yesterday i actually had a glass of rosé which was so good the guy let me taste like a bunch of different rosés and um i just had one glass and i woke up perfectly fine now i think it's because i mean some people might be like are you kidding like you really actually feel it after one glass of wine like the next day and the answer is yes but i think because i drank it quite early it was around like six o'clock and then i ate food and then i got home like had water things like that and i went to sleep at a normal time my body woke up not depleted so i think moving forward if i am going to have alcohol which i kind of said in my head Obviously, I need to make sure to limit it because my body can really not handle a lot But to drink earlier in the day, which I feel like we all kind of know that like day drinking is kind of more elite Okay, guys, so i'm trying this new eye cream. It's from Sajan, I don't know if i'm saying it correctly. So please if somebody can tell me I probably am not because you guys know I'm not the best but I went to an event uh, like last week or something and they had a booth there. Their skincare is all Ayurvedic. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the A right. I'm probably not. But um, anyways, they have really beautiful skincare and they gave us this eye cream. So I'm going to use it because literally why not? But it does definitely brighten the eyes, which sometimes you definitely need that. So I'm actually getting ready right now to meet a friend for brunch. And then I'm probably just going to work for the rest of the day because I went to the gym. And I want to get a few things done later before obviously I go on the trip tomorrow. I'm literally so excited. I don't know who's going to be there, but it's just going to be super fun. And last night I was talking to my friend about like, she's a content creator as well. So we're just like talking about our content creation journeys and manifestation, which is what we always talk about. And we were actually talking a lot about emotions. And um, I feel like maybe this, I could just bring this to this vlog right now. I have gone on a very lengthy journey with 
the relationship that I have towards emotions. Um, obviously, we love to feel happy and we love to feel grateful and we love to feel like excited for life, but you know, we're human beings and we are going to experience those lower ranges of emotions. But we were discussing how the reason why a lot of lower feeling emotions like sadness or disappointment feels so bad is because we've never learned how to fully carry ourselves through and soothe ourselves through the times of feeling disappointment or sadness, which in turn makes it feel a lot worse because we don't know how to handle it. And on top of that, we wrong it. We look at it like we shouldn't be feeling it, which then perpetuates the feeling of extra shame, extra guilt, extra disappointment and feeling like we're wrong and then we go into that spiral and over time in my life I have learned that we don't need to run from negative emotion or lower emotions and if you actually allow yourself to feel it, to cry it out, to speak to someone about it, to journal it, whatever your technique is, you will find not only do you transform but you feel so much better and it's just this absolute needed release and the reason why I'm also saying this is because I talked about manifestation when I was getting ready yesterday and I think if you're into manifestation law of assumption things like that you have probably gone on a journey of being like oh damn like I should be strong like I shouldn't let things affect me and I should really make sure to think positively and focus on my goals and stuff if I want to manifest things but the truth is you're just gonna have those days sometimes where you don't feel the best and what I have learned and what you need to tell yourself too is just because you have that bad day does not mean that affects your manifestation we tie our emotions so heavily to the manifestation like if I feel bad that means I'm not getting it if I messed up that means I'm not getting it no no, no, no. You are a human being. You're an emotional being. When you feel not aligned, when you feel not motivated, when you feel not good, this is not the time to keep driving yourself into being positive or telling yourself that you're not going to get what you want if you're not feeling the absolute best. And so in the days where I'm not feeling the best, I kind of like, it's not putting my desires on the back burner, but it's just putting them out of my vision for a moment and not making what I'm feeling right now be the reason why I'm not going to get that and, and just be in the energy of where my body fully needs me to be right now, which is emotionally regulating for whatever reason. There's, there's some sort of story that maybe I was perpetuating, whatever it is, and to deal with that. And when I mean deal with it, it's not trying to suppress the emotion and put it away and be like, hurry up and go away so I can focus on my desires. It's about learning to be comfortable within that space of, oh my gosh, I'm feeling emotions right now. I'm feeling all of these things. I'm experiencing real life and I have these desires over here that I want really bad and I'm not going to make either one of these things wrong or bad. I am going to be in the present moment right now, which is I'm feeling this way. And then what you find when you feel those emotions and you not make it mean a hundred million things and you just make it mean what it is right now, which is I'm not okay today and I need to cry today or I feel like crap today. When you stop acting out of that emotion and you soothe yourself and you, you hold yourself there, you will find not only is that usually the lesson that you need that's going to up level you for bringing you closer to your desires but you become a more emotionally mature person you know how to carry yourself you find the things that work for you and to support you now if you're interested in this type of conversation that i'm having right now i think the next episode that i'm going to be posting on the podcast which if you don't know i have a podcast the globe secrets podcast it will be linked down below it's on youtube it's on spotify apple wherever you get your podcasts or listen to your podcast i think i'm going to talk about this i think i'm going to talk about this whole entire emotional thing i have to sit down and really think about it a little bit more so definitely make sure to subscribe or follow which if this video goes live on Saturday or Sunday, that episode will be on the following Monday. So it'll be like in a few days when you see this. So make sure to go check that out. But anyways, I'm going to stop ranting because I need to go because I need to quickly tidy up my space and then go get some food. I just use the Vichy. I think that's how you say it. Somebody commented and told me I was pronouncing it wrong, which obviously, obviously I'm low key, like kind of dyslexic. Um, I've kind of been like that throughout my life. So sometimes pronouncing words, sometimes reading words, um, they get jumbled up in my head. And it's not even really like I need to explain why I mess up certain words. Like you also don't need to be dyslexic or anything like that to mess up words. <laughs> but I'm just saying that because sometimes I just, it, it, like when I'm speaking on camera and I like don't know how to say it, I'm not gonna sit here and like try and sound it out. But 
I have also moved away from that identity of, oh, I can't pronounce words or, oh, I'm not good at spelling or I'm not good at reading or I'm not good at reading out loud. Um, and that's really, really helped me excel in school. It's helped me excel in productivity. It's helped me get out of the identity of like, I'm dumb. I'm not actually saying if anyone is dyslexic, you are dumb. I'm just saying I thought that I was dumb for so long in my life, like in, in school, because I was not good at school. I just wasn't able to comprehend what was going on really. I wasn't like, I'm not like two on the scale of dyslexic. It's pretty easy for me to read most things out, but sometimes I'll jumble my words. But in general, I'm also like a very visual learner. I also, my attention span, like I will learn something and I can sit there for like 12 hours straight if it's something that I really, you know, it's really calling my name and it's really like touching what it needs to touch within me and my soul on top of visually seeing and learning. But if it's something that I'm not interested in or if it's like a bunch of reading or having to memorize it, forget about it. I could do it for a million times over and I will not retain a single piece of information. That's why I thrive on YouTube in terms of learning because when I see someone and I hear them speak, I am learning way better than if I'm just hearing audio. And that's why I even like visual podcasts because, you know, when you're retaining information and stuff, I don't know, at least for me, it's, it's just easier for me to learn when I'm even seeing somebody speak, even if there's no like pop-ups or there's no like imagery other than that person speaking. Anyways, let's go get some brunch. I don't know where we're going, but I did legs today. So I'm really hungry and I'll see you when I see you. morning vlog it is monday morning we are going to the spot where we're gonna leave toronto i'm assuming i'm gonna be meeting everyone there i am dressed really warm because it's honestly been very cold but that's fine also i got literally the worst sleep but i'm hoping that i'll be able to sleep a little tiny bit i don't even know i'm assuming we're taking a bus or something um because it is like two and a half hours or something to get to muskoka we're going to muskoka so anyways, it's fine. We will make it. I'm just wearing this oversized hoodie. This is thrifted. I did not go to Iowa State and my aloe jacket around me because it is seriously very cold. And I'm just wearing my Lululemon leggings because they're gonna be really comfortable to sit. I'll definitely change when I'm there. And guys, look at the little suitcase they sent me. I'm gonna take this off. It's already packed, but I just wanted to take it for a photo. How cute is this? And then this is actually a tote from the last event that I went with them, but I figured I would just use it as a second little thing. And then they even sent us these little tumblers that say, hey you on it. How cute is that? But yeah, I am really excited. Let's go live out one of our manifestations. Hey guys, we are here. Look at this bed. You know you're on a brand trip when they put all of the merch on the bed. This is insane, so cute. This is like a tracksuit that we're gonna be wearing tomorrow, I believe. We got this towel, we got some champagne, my name on this. This is so incredibly cute. Okay, let's see the views here. Oh my gosh, guys, look at the views. Look at the views. This is stunning. It is so cute. I literally still can't believe that we're all here having the best time. We just got here, obviously, and we met all the other people that were on this trip, which I think there's only like six or seven of us, which is perfect. We got some drinks. We are going to have like an hour to ourselves and then we're gonna go and meet everyone. We're like opening ceremonies and then we're going on a boat, then we're gonna eat. So I'll definitely keep vlogging, but I am gonna take a maybe like 20 minute nap because I am so freaking tired because I got like no sleep last night. So we will convene when I wake up. Okay guys, we just woke up from my nap and we have to go downstairs for, I don't really know, but they said to be dressed for dinner, but we're also going on the boat. 
So I had a fancier outfit to wear, but I feel like I want to wear the blazer because I don't want to be freezing. So this is just going to have to do. This is definitely giving dinner and worst case, I can just come up and change. Also, I'm drinking this rosé that they gave me that I just couldn't drink because I was um, going to go to sleep. But I have everything everywhere. This is already a mess. But they left us a bunch of like Clinique stuff. And they also left us with this deep comfort body butter. And I've already tried it and I love it. I am such a body butter oil girly so anyways we got those going here i'm gonna have to clean everything up when we get back but that's gonna be that for now let's go see what they have in store The next day i don't even remember the last clip that i had talking i don't think i was like doing much but we had this i think it was five or six how many courses i don't know there was like five or six course meals i couldn't even explain to you how beautiful and how amazing every single like meal i was gonna say meal but it's like the smallest little portions were but they were unreal we were all so full we got like wined and dined it was the nicest experience ever and then after we ate we asked to have our dessert in the room that we were going to be watching an episode of below deck because we were so full and we kind of just wanted to change and go sit and like be comfy so we did that and um the episode was really good if you guys have not watched below deck you guys seriously need to i feel like it's one of the most easiest shows to get into when it comes to like reality tv and there's so many seasons that you you can just binge watch all of them and there's like different franchises and we are here for the new season of below deck mediterranean so i would highly recommend to go watch it on hey you that's where i watch all of my reality tv shows i think it's just the best streaming service for being a canadian for one but i just think that they have all of the episodes like they have everything like all of my shows are on there like summer house vanderpump valley below deck uh, all the real housewives that i like to watch like so many more shows there's not even i couldn't even list them all so anyways i am a reality tv stan so if you're wondering why i would be at a trip like this it would make perfect sense if you follow my instagram because i'm always posting reality tv so anyways today obviously like i just said i got ready i'm gonna go downstairs because they have some sort of like breakfast situation and then at 10 o'clock we have to meet by the water the lake um to go on a boat ride and then we're going to be going to this like smoothie hut or some sort of thing oh i don't know if i even said that yesterday we went on a boat as well before we went to dinner and we did this thing called yachty academy or yachty academy training where I, th I guess this is only relevant if you watch the show, but the show is essentially a bunch of people, kids, not kids, but like, I don't know, probably like 20s and 30s, where they charter yachts and they work for the guests on the boat. So um, there's like exterior people who obviously like run the boat and dock the boat and things like that and make sure everything's clean. And then there's like interior team where there's like a chef and um, there's servers and you basically just do whatever the guests need you to do. And so they basically kind of like put us through a training uh, to test our skills. So we made these like dove, were they dove? No, swan, um, 
napkin not it's not even a napkin a towel you know those beautiful like pieces of artwork that they leave on your hotel room bed we learned how to do that we had a little challenge to see who could like blow up this like flamingo thing um, quickest and then we did this like serving challenge we'd have one glass on the tray and we had to like race back and forth which was no issue for me because I used to be a server. I used to be also a banquet server. So we'd have huge trays that we would put on these like stands and then we would basically put a bunch of plates and stuff on it and also just serve them. And we'd have to go underneath the tray thing and then stand up and have it on our actual shoulder because it was so big. So I definitely am a pro at that. And then we got back and we had dinner. So it's been such an amazing trip so far. Everyone here, which is only like a group of like six of us of different influencers in Toronto. Um, everyone vibes really good. It's everyone's so nice. The team is so sweet. They gave us our own rooms and everything. Like it's just beautiful. And like I said, I have been wanting to go to Muskoka and when we went on the boat yesterday, oh my god, the cottages, oh my god, they're just, it's a manifestation, like it needs to go into the journal. So I'm pretty sure I got clips of that, so you probably saw, but today I think we're going on a different type of boat, but we're going on a boat, so I'll definitely get more clips. I'm gonna go downstairs so I can eat something, and then we will convene afterwards. <laughs> Please do not mind my hair right now. I have four tiny little buns as I'm about to go sit under my heat cap with oil in my hair. Like there's oil in my hair now and I'm gonna add some more and uh, my hair basically needs to be like this. I just got back home from the gym so I'm feeling very refreshed. I ended up just like cleaning today and I basically spent the entire day, not the entire day, but most of my work day today doing the edits and creating the content that I needed to submit for the actual trip. Like I posted on my stories, things that were going on, like I was live posting and I vlogged this, but I also am actually doing a brand deal with them. So I had to just come up with all of the content and the clips and everything. So I sent that in. So I'm just gonna end the vlog because I'm actually gonna start a new vlog tomorrow. I'm super, in the energy of tunnel vision i feel like naturally getting back home and getting back into routine when i step into that energy it's very much so tunnel vision like morning routine getting right back into my journaling getting to bed early going to all my workouts like just really doing everything that i need to do and lately i've definitely been diving more deep into manifestation i mean we're manifesting all the time like we're always manifesting but mindset is such a huge part of manifestation like literally your mindset is everything and your beliefs so i always want to make sure that i'm on top of my mindset work especially when i want certain results in my life and i am definitely motivated for a few very big things in my life right now so i figured tomorrow i will start a vlog kind of bringing you guys through um like journal practice and also just motivation maybe for you guys if you guys are entering a new season of really wanting to like manifest your dream life essentially and we're always doing that like there's always new chapters and levels of my life that i'm wanting to manifest and up level essentially and i'm definitely moving into one of them i think naturally also just getting off my period before i went on this trip that's just my energy is coming back and 
I'm ready to go. So that's kind of like what I'm setting myself up for tonight. But the trip was honestly so fun. And there's a lot of like synchronicities. There's a lot of personal stories that were told from other people, like the other content creators that were on the trip that really resonated to me. And they were just like signs from the universe that what I am doing is really like on track or aligned I guess and I think just naturally like when you meet people who are really good people and bring really good energy it's also a great reflection of you and this doesn't mean you're like a negative person just because you're around people who are negative but when I do find that I've been working on my mindset and my energy and I'm not acting out of limiting beliefs and I'm not stressed about things that haven't even happened yet and I'm not like thinking the worst of certain outcomes, I tend to have really good outcomes and really good experiences. And I definitely made sure, well not even made sure, but I was definitely like on my shit even before this trip and I just had really positive thoughts about it and I was genuinely so excited and I just feel like that was just a reflection of the energy that I was in. And maybe this is just a reminder, like when positive things happen, really use that as fuel to continue to go. I feel like sometimes, we when we're feeling really good or things are going really good in our lives obviously we're enjoying it and that's amazing but i think it's really important to take a moment and really bask in this energy that you're currently in in your life if you are in it right now of like things are going really good you're really on your shit you're manifesting you know certain outcomes and really good energy from people or opportunities like let that be your fuel to continue to move forward in your life i feel like sometimes we only dive into self-development work or journaling or manifestation and our goals and stuff when we're at a really low point in our lives and while yes that definitely can be your motivation to get out of things and I always do that but I think that you know simply just basking in essentially gratitude like basically just being grateful for all the things that are going well in your life right now really does propel you and motivate you forward and I think that that's where I'm at in my life and that's why I'm not surprised that like tomorrow I'm gonna do this vlog but in general tomorrow I'm gonna be in this energy of like you know let's keep going let's bask in this amazing energy that I'm in in my life and even if things aren't really going that well in your life I really urge you to try and bring your energy into gratitude being grateful for the things that you have right now I feel like sometimes we're always trying to run away from our issues our problems we're trying to fix our issues our problems we're trying to be positive about the thing that's not really the best right now when really and truly accept it acknowledge it bask in it find the positive pieces of this understand that this is a lesson this is getting you forward in your life even if it's not fully exactly what you want right now anyways that's my manifestation rant i feel like i kind of talked about it quite a bit in this vlog i'm also just thinking i don't think i gave you guys a recap of the second day so essentially we all just got ready and we end up going back on a different boat and we boated is that the right word i don't know we went around in a boat the muskoka lakes and all the cottages and oh my god were they just beautiful and this also just resonated with certain manifestations that i am um, bringing and cultivating in my life one being i mean i don't know if, how many of you guys have been watching me for a while and maybe even the podcast but i always talk about living in my suburban home with lots of nature just in peace and serenity i spend a lot of time outside even in the city like i found my spots where there's not a lot of people and there's water and there's nature as much as there can be and um i'm really wanting that life like that's definitely the life for me not to say that it's in muskoka the muskoka trip definitely just reminded me of exactly where i want to be and i got to really embody that and feel that energy of where i'm trying to go in my life and it was just so beautiful and aligned so that was amazing i just took it all in the cottages were so beautiful guys i just i can't even like there are people who have boat houses that are bigger than even the house in my head that i'm trying to manifest like it's just wild it's honestly wild but very beautiful we end up going to this like small little town where there was this place called the hut we got these smoothie bowls that were so delicious of course and there was a bunch of 
not I was gonna say authentic but local clothing I guess and there were beautiful pieces there was even a, like a Lululemon shop and a restaurant things like that we all just ended up getting a lot of content because of course we were there to also get some content so we did that and then we went back in the boat did another cruise and basically got our stuff and left so we didn't spend too much time on the second day it was really a short trip but it was definitely not only a trip that I manifested not only a trip that I wanted not only a trip that was very aligned because I have been saying that I wanted to go to Muskoka and I knew that I wanted to go because of that feeling that I felt when I was on that boat but in general just thinking about the fact that I want to have an evolution of my career and that definitely was a step forward in my evolution when it comes to being an influencer doing a brand trip like that so that was really great and I just met so many people who we genuinely had the best conversations we talked the entire time there the entire time back and it was about three hours of driving there and back and even all throughout dinner like all of the excursions everything we did we just all really connected on a deeper level when it came to our work but just things that we're interested in there were so many cool content creators that I just I just love oh my gosh anyways so it was a absolute success and I can't wait to continue to manifest more things I actually manifested already something else that I'm gonna just tell the story when I vlog it which will be end of July this is when it's gonna be happening and it's just a beautiful manifestation so anyways hopefully I will manifest more things for the summer diary series trying to at least get one video a month out and just kind of compile some things that I'm doing for summer and just getting out and not just me being in routine and stuff which I do have quite a few things coming up in the future so stay tuned for that don't forget to subscribe if you are new here or maybe you just forgot to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one bye